What you are about to hear are many different forms of unadulterated bullshit. Some of these quotes may not be suited for our younger viewers. Infinite Respawn does not condone the following messages. We do, however, find them hilarious. Okay. Let's go. Reionize my electrons. This life is nothing short of a flowering quantum shift of spiritual interconnectedness. You and I are warriors of the quantum soup. Nothing is impossible. Only a wanderer of the cosmos may rediscover this rebirth of synch synch synchronicity. Aspiration requires exploration. Consciousness is a constant. To embark on the myth is to become one with it. Through homeopathy. That that can't be right. Homopathy? No, he's, I, it doesn't really matter, but I'm pretty sure you said it right. Homeopathy. Close Our up. bodies are enveloped in consciousness. Tarot may be the solution to what's holding you back from an enormous flow of empathy. You will soon be guided by a power deep within yourself. A power that is amazing. Mystical. We are in the midst of an infinite deepening of love that will give us access to the quantum soup itself. What Who the are fuck we? is quantum soup? <laughs> Where on the great myth will we be guided? Reality has always been buzzing with warriors whose brains are immersed in rejuvenation. We are at a crossroads of wisdom and illusion. Throughout history, humans have been interacting with the quantum cycle via superpositions of possibilities. Humankind has nothing to lose. <laughs> it is in refining that we are guided. Soon there will be a blossoming of divinity the likes of which the quantum soup has never seen. It is a sign of things to come. It can be difficult to know where to begin. Uh, just so you know, Mark's accompanying me in this just because I love hearing his reactions to the various definitions and, and uses and of the word quantum. Boy, boy, do I have them. Okay, first, I want to know, if quantum soup is real, it's got to be Chunky's least favorite flavor. Because... <laughs> You couldn't say it tasted like one thing. It would taste like all things at the same time unless you observed that taste. That's closer to what Quantum at least hints at. But whatever. We'll listen to the New Age stuff. Go Let on. Me re my electrons. You and I are dreamers of the solar system. Consciousness consists of transmissions of quantum energy. Quantum means a redefining of the astral. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Conscious living is the driver of interconnectedness. The future will be in you... <sighs> The future will be an unified maturing of love. We are in the midst of a primordial condensing of transformation that will open up the quantum cycle itself. Humankind has nothing to lose. Our conversations with other storytellers have led to, maturing, to a maturing of hyperspatial consciousness. <laughs> Throughout history, humans have been interacting with the planet via supercharged electrons. Who are we? Where on the great story will we be aligned? Reality has always been... A glow with pilgrims whose essence are engulfed essences are engulfed in divinity. We can no longer afford to live with suffering. You may be ruled by discon discontinuity without realizing it. Do not let it erase the nature of your myth. Where there is delusion, hope cannot thrive. Hope mm. cannot thrive at all on any of these. Nothing is impossible. <laughs> Sharing requires exploration. We exist. We self actualize. We are reborn. We are at a crossroads of interconnectedness and suffering. You will soon be re-energized by a power deep within yourself, a power that is astral, angelic. As you reflect, you will enter into infinite awareness that transcends understanding. Through acupuncture, our lives are opened by in inspiration. <laughs> Can we take a second to talk about acupuncture? Who the hell thought that was a good idea? Uh, according to some sources, it is a good idea. It sometimes works. It's, you know, it's holistic medicine. I don't give a shit. I'm not letting anyone shove no, no, needles into me. You know my position on needles. Right? Yeah, same. I share your position. Probably not as extremely, but I do share it. But but do you share my super position? My super position. Awareness <laughs> is the driver of transformation. The life is nothing short of an awakening osmosis of interstellar potentiality. By refining, we vibrate. We are in the midst of a karmic awakening of that which will align us with the quantum cycle itself. It can be difficult to know where to begin. Have you found your path? The quantum soup is calling to you via atomic ionization. Can you hear it? You must take a stand against dogma. Yes, it is possible to destroy the things that can destroy us, but not without divinity on our side. Where there is yearning, beauty cannot thrive. Although you may not realize it, you are amazing. How should you navigate the sublime world? Visitor, look within and fulfill yourself. We exist as biofeedback. The fuck? You and I are entities of the quantum matrix. Today, science tells us the essence of nature is inside. Oh, there's another quantum coming up. No. Consciousness consists of ultrasonic energy of quantum energy. Quantum means an awakening of the endless. No. You have never <laughs> experienced this paradigm shift on a cosmic scale. 
it can be difficult to exist. Throughout history, humans have been interacting with the grid via supercharged waveforms. Humankind has nothing to lose. Okay. So, like, I think I'm just gonna give it a stab without making a generator. I'm, I'm just gonna just spout New Age bullshit. Okay, go on. Okay. Let's go, do it. Divinity is the karmic retribution <laughs> of science. Today, in modern era, it can be difficult to live without the essence of divinity guiding us through the endless waveforms. Uh... Shit, I'm not that creative. You're not good at making bullshit? I'm not good at making bullshit, which is bullshit in itself, because I'm great at making bullshit. I'm just not good at making New Age bullshit. I think I've said bullshit in the like, last five seconds more than I have in... By now, my clung pool was frothing like a jizz waterfall. With his disco sticker raiding deep into my lady town, the sensation of his chirp step smashing my cervix made me quick like an epileptic at a Pink Floyd concert. After having my vaginal bacon buffet hammered, he then proceeded to pound my ring piece. When he removed his jiggle stick from my turd herder, he was pleasantly surprised to see a corn-eyed butt snake staring back at him. He knew I couldn't wait to suck Mr. Hanky off his womb ferret. The unrelenting orgasms from his gristle missile fucking my ground zero grotto made me come so hard, I began sweating like a dyslexic on countdown. My cake hole was so full of meaty member and steamin' semen. The man fat was dribbling down my chin and onto my chest puppies. After having my tampon hunnel pounded, he then proceeded to pound my tradesman's entrance. Within no time, I could feel the shitty ectoplasm oozing from my chocolate starfish and all over my meaty hangers. The mixture of stink pickle and man fat in my poop chute created the delicious rectoplasm that he was so fond of. The seemingly never-ending streams of cocksnot emanating from his tenderloin soon had me coated like a plasterer's radio. Business cases streamline specific and slash or consumer facing market conditions. This is why the pre-integrator risk appetites influence the excellence champion was that? <laughs> that wasn't even coherent. End to end executive and informed case studies energize the clients. It's not about business case. It's about our brandings. Landscapes deliver maximum impact. In the same time, the executive committee drills down. Down and across the silo. Plans carefully inspire the stakeholders because our quality management systems produce a sustained expansion. Competitiveness and methodology drive the partners. In the same time, our success factors enhance silos within the industry. So a lot about silos. You're either storing wheat or building nuclear weapons. I don't want to know which. Actually, investor confidence, challenge and enterprise, content management, conservatively generate a proactive superior insight. It doesn't make any sense. The game changers jumpstart our blended approach while prioritizing top-down insights challenge us to cre generate our solution orientation. The customers enforce changes. The community drives the business forward. And the thinkers slash planners articulate our compliant phase message. As a result, the senior support staff calibrates our educated supply chains. The chief visionary officer our overlord genuinely re-aggregates the traceable values whilst the resource jump starts a structured time to market you made that turn up the resources 24 7 focus on a global goal-based benchmarking whereas the key representatives iterate a culture <laughs> iterate a culture that's a, that's an anthropologist study you know uh, ba back 2000 years ago they iterated a culture knowledge-based case studies architect our excellence 50-50 the policymakers expediently innovate, systematize empowerments across industry sectors. The board level executives differentiate a bottom up pillar down, down and across the matrix. It's <laughs> just prepositions. <laughs> a go to market portfolio shaping engages the solutions based results driven differentiator. Client focus and full range of products streamline the business cases. Our challenge is not to manage the portfolio. Our challenge is to accelerate adequate cross-sell messages. Yeah, the business leaders consistently mitigate problems whilst excellence and portfolio shaping deliver maximum impact across geographies. 
The proliferation of conservatism is rather trivial in its interdependence. The psychology of smugness is undeniably idyllic in its integrity. The complexity of morphology is in fact quite close-minded in its romanticism. The reinforcement of politics is quite paradoxical in its omnipotence. The, the recipro reciprocity of economics is asinine in its poetry. The injustice of tenacity is very nearly trivial in its sociology. The blindness of nihilism is upon closer examination almost revolutionary in its empiricism. The cleverness of fragmentation is rather obtuse in its foresight. The dual-sidedness of independence is truly rather doctrinal in its deviousness. The isomorphism of clairvoyance is really quite sociological in its sensibility. The pride of relativity is political in its ecology. The codependency of san sanctimoniousness is unorthodox in its omniscience. The lugubriousness of mobility is open-minded in its agnosticism. The impressionism of nobility is nearly conservative in its hypocrisy. The animosity of simplicity is dreadfully independent in its anthropology. The cleverness of proliferation is in reality quite idyllic in its polymorphism. And last but not least, the pride of the sanctimoniousness is simple-minded in its ecology of belief. Okay, let, let's just get this out of the way. Do we want to hear what the actual definition of quantum means? Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and hear it. Let's okay, cool. Hear it. In physics, a quantum, or quanta, is the minimum amount of any physical entity involved in an interaction. Behind this, one finds the fundamental notion that a physical property may be quantized, which means you can take them into little discrete values. The best example of this is a photon. A photon is the quanta of electromagnetic energy. And I know that sounds boring, but as a physics major, I want you guys to understand that it's not the reimagining of divinity or the endless understanding the endless of, the of the astral plane or the astral plane comes from D&D. &D, so I have no idea where the hell that got into physics. So I, I just want to imagine like, please tell me while I was reading this, you actually pulled up that definition as sort of like a source of comfort. I did. And I can just picture it like uh, he's sitting there like twitching a little bit. You know, he just pulls up that definition. He's just stroking his computer screen from a distance because he's not actually touching it. He's Correct. Just, <laughs> just, you are the one true definition. All else is false. None may, may none may be. God damn it! None may come before <laughs> you.